All right, well, uh, welcome class. Uh, first of all, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I, I consider it a real privilege to teach you, and uh, I'm excited about that opportunity. Because uh, today what we're going to learn is how to add and subtract rational expressions. That's what we're all about today, all right? So here's the first one. I'm just going to get right to it. We're going to go here. We're going to go with x plus 4 over x squared plus 5x minus 24 plus 4, again, over the same denominator. All right. Yo! This ain't no different than what you've been doing in the past. You see a long time ago, and I'm talking a long time ago, or maybe not so long ago, depending on how old you are, but either way, at some point you had a teacher do this for you. At some point a teacher was like, yo, 4 over 11, now I'm just picking numbers randomly here, plus, I don't know, 2 over 11 equaled 4 plus 2 over 11. And then you added the 4 and the 2, and that got you 6 over 11, all right? That's what you learned before. This ain't much different. I want you to notice, look, the denominators were the same. They were common denominators. And notice, 11 plus 11, it still stayed 11. The denominator didn't change. The numerator did. We added this numerator plus that numerator, and we got 6, and then we were done. This is the same. It's the same thing. Look, so the first thing you want to do when you've got these problems is, yo, that denominator doesn't change, so rewrite it. That's easy money right there. Just rewrite the denominator and you're good. You're on the right path. And don't do every step at once. Don't do the whole problem in one step. Write this numerator plus that numerator. So here we go. X plus 4 plus 4. And I'm using parentheses because when we do subtraction, parentheses are going to be really helpful. Okay, so now I got this. I'm going to combine my like terms. Uh, you know, 4 plus 4 is 8. So x plus 8 over, again, my uh, denominator. The key is that they're common denominators, so they don't change. These values stay the same. Now I have a single rational expression, and you know what we do when we got one rational expression. And if you've already forgotten, that's all good, because I'm going to remind you right now. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to teach and remind and, and show. Uh, here's the steps for simplifying. You, one, factor things, and two, you cancel stuff. Factor things and cancel stuff. That's how we simplify a rational expression. And that's meant to be vague because it's just a pointer. It's pointing you in the right direction. you got to know how to factor. Now look, the numerator you can't factor. It's x plus 8, so you keep it that way. x plus 8. This denominator is a trinomial. The way we've been rolling with the trinomial is we say, boom, negative 24 on the top, 5 there. It's an x marks the spot problem. So you need two numbers that multiply to give you negative 24, but add to give you positive 8. Those two numbers are 8 and negative 3. Bam! Got it. So, x plus 8, x minus 3. We are almost done. This is factored. We factored some things. All we got to do now is cancel some stuff. Well, what do we cancel? We cancel those things that are the same. If we're, if we're multiplying and dividing by the same number, we can cancel it. And look. Boom. Boom. And watch this. Look, this, when, when they cancel it, essentially it becomes the number 1. So make sure that 1 is still in the numerator. That x minus 3. Boom, boom, boom. That's problem number one for you right there, okay? Uh, key thing, when they are common denominator, the denominator stays the same. That's the key thing. Let me get an eraser. Let me get an eraser. Uh, rewind this. Try the same problem over again. That's what I would do. All right, I'm going to erase all this. And let's uh, 
Let's roll through one more. In fact, let's roll through two more. Why, why not, right? Uh, here's another one. We got uh, x plus 10 over x to the third plus 13x plus 12. And let's add 2 over, I don't know why I put to the third. Ay, ay, ay. Mamma mia. Um, Should have been squared plus 13x plus 12. All right. We want to add these rational expressions. That's what we want to do. Right now, if I was you, I would pause this video and I would give it a shot on my own before I, you listen to this explanation. I think the explanation will be more meaningful that way. All right. Well, let's do this. Remember, they got like terms. So it ain't no different than this example that I'm just making up on the, off the top of my head. It's no different than the, than the 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4 equals 3 plus 1 over 4. And you want to keep going, that's 4 over 4, which you'd simplify to 1. But this problem's the same type of deal. So go get the easy part of this problem, which is this denominator that's not changing. Look. So what do we want to say? We want to start right here? We'll do it here. This gives us a 13x plus 12. All right. Show all your steps. Don't skip steps yet. There's no reason. I'm going to take that numerator, and I'm going to add that numerator. Now, these parentheses aren't really doing anything, because essentially we have a positive 1 outside, and a positive 1 doesn't... You multiply by a positive 1, nothing changes. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to rewrite it without the parentheses. The parentheses will be helpful when we start subtracting these things. All right. So let's... Do the next step. And in math, you know, it's never that difficult if you just focus on the step that you're on. The step that you're on is never that challenging. It's only when we try to solve the whole problem in one step that it's like, I don't know what to do. Focus on the step you're on. And don't worry about anything else. For example, right now I want to combine like terms, so I'm not worried about factoring. I'm not worried about the denominator. So I'm going to rewrite it because I'm not concerned about it right now. That's not the step I'm on. I'm on this step, and I'm combining like terms. There's no other x's, so I'm just going to write an x. And I'm not even concerned with the 10 or the 2 because right now I'm combining x's. There's one x. Okay, now I'm no longer concerned with x's. I'm just concerned with the integers. I got a 10 and a 2. I'm going to add them and become 12. Boom! Next step. We have one rational expression there, so we got to simplify it. And how do we simplify? Well, I already erased it. I'm going to write it again. We factor things. That's right. And we cancel stuff. That is right. Again, that's just a pointer. It's just hinting at the direction you should take this problem. So let's go. Let's factor things. I'm not going to worry about factoring the denominator because I'm starting on the numerator. I'm looking at x plus 2 and I'm saying, you know what? Can't factor that any further. Now I'm going to focus on the denominator. And when I'm focused on the denominator, I'm not worried about anything else. I'm just worried about the denominator. And this is a trinomial, so I'm going to hit it with an x marks the spot. The solution of that is 12 and 1, because 12 times 1 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. And we got x plus 12 over x plus 1. Sweet. It's money. Now I factored everything. All right. Now I'm going to worry about canceling stuff. I wasn't worried about canceling stuff because I hadn't factored, but now that I've factored, I'm going to look at this problem, cancel the things that are a 1, and I'm going to get 1 over x plus 1. Boom, boom, boom. You got this. Ain't no worries. No worries. Let me give you one more, though. Let me give you one more, okay? Uh, this one is going to be a slight, slightly different variation in the uh, necessity to factor. Probably is not going to be there, but let's, uh, let's look. Maybe it will be. 
I'm going to leave this up because this, is, this really is telling us what to do. It's a simple little tool to tell us what to do. To, to remind us that the denominator doesn't change and you add the numerator. So let's go. Here we go. One more. One more. Plus 3x over 2x squared. Please pause this. Please try this problem because I know you can do it. Fail at it. Miss it. I don't care. Just try it. You've got to remember. I mean, if this is the only the third one you've seen, and maybe this is only the first one that you've actually tried, you're under no obligation to get it right. You're under no obligation to even know how to do it. You're only under the obligation to try. That's my only thing I ask of you. So look, the denominators are the same. Take that easy money and just rewrite the denominator and feel good about yourself that you're getting it. You're getting to the solution. That's a good thing. Now, okay, so I kept the denominator the same. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the numerators. And I'm not actually going to add them yet. I'm just going to write that one plus. And this time I'm probably not going to do parentheses because they're, they're each monomials, right? There's only one term. So I'm just going to do 5x plus 3x. You want to still write your parentheses? Still write them. It's all good. Now, time for me to combine like terms. And when I'm combining like terms, focus on the terms you want to combine. Like right now, I've got an x. I'm, so I want to see, are there any other x's? Well, sure, there's a 3. 5x plus 3x is 8x. Now I'm done with that step. There's nothing to combine in the denominator because it's just one term. Boom! Now, Nothing to factor. Is there something to cancel? You better believe there is. And maybe, maybe there is something to factor. Maybe you want to look at 8 and call 8 4 times 2. Maybe that's helpful for you. So when you do that, you can see that the 2's definitely cancel. You got 1x on the top. You got 2x's on the bottom. So that cancels. And that becomes just 1x. And you are left with 4 over x. All right? I mean, some people wouldn't show this step. Maybe you would just look at this and say, well, divide that by 2, divide that by 2. Uh, that cancels with that. And maybe you just jump right to this solution. But uh, that's on you, whatever you prefer. So adding rational expressions, uh, a good topic. Uh, notice if these denominators were different, then, then the game gets a little bit more difficult. But right now, we ain't worried about that. They're the same in this problem. I encourage you to do more of these. I encourage you to, to re-watch this video and just try the problems, all of them, prior to my solution. I encourage you to have a beautiful day or a beautiful night. Uh, this has been really fun, and I, and I hope you learned something. Uh, take care.